In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a formula to a pivot table. I've got a sample pivot table that I will use in this demonstration that shows the sales and expenses of a number of store locations in different countries of a fictional business. My goal would be to show the profit for each store location. This would be the sales minus the expenses. I could enter a formula in column D. The formula in this case would be equals cell B4 minus cell C4. And then I could copy it to the remaining rows. It seems to work. However, if I start manipulating the pivot table, the formula ceases to work properly. I end up with a number of $0 value results that don't correspond to any data. The solution to this issue is to use a calculated field to add a formula to a pivot table. First, I'll delete the formula I created. Now, I'll make sure I'm in the Pivot Table Analyze tab. I'll look for the Fields, Items and Sets command. This will launch a drop-down menu. I will now select Calculated Field. The name field is the name we want for our new field. I will put the name, Profits, as the value in the field. Next is the formula field. It currently shows equals and a zero. I'm going to change the formula to calculate the profit for each store location. I'll delete the zero. In the fields area is a list of all of the pivot table fields that I can use to create a formula. Since the formula for profit is sales minus expenses, I'll highlight sales and then click the insert field button. Sales now appears in the formula field. I will next add the minus sign. Finally, I'll highlight expenses and once again click the insert field button. We now have the proper formula in the formula field. I can now click OK. The profit field not only calculates the proper profit for each store location, but it also doesn't have any issues when I expand and collapse the cities within the countries like it did before. If you're like me, you are probably looking at the column headings that show the words sum of before our variable and thinking it looks kind of messy. You would think you could go into the heading and modify it in the formula bar. I'll try it for the sum of profits heading. I'll try making it profits. As you can see, we get an error because I've already used the name profits as a field name when I created the calculated field. There are a few easy ways to fix this issue. The first would be to change the name in the formula bar. In this case, we could use the word profit and it would work. Or, if you were really dead set on using the word profits, you could enter a space before or after the word profits when you edit the name in the formula bar. The third option would be to give the calculated field a different name than your intended heading name. And that's how to add a formula to a pivot table using a calculated field. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if it was helpful to you. If you're interested in more information about pivot tables, check out these videos. Thanks for watching and have an excellent day.